Hey, I'm William. Today I'm going to show you how to test the motor on a GE dryer that stops the auto cycle too soon. The motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to rotate the drum and circulate air through the dryer so your clothes can dry. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Now first, let's get our tools together. Today we'll need a multimeter, a Phillips screwdriver, and a hair dryer. And please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your dryer by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. Now let's get started. To test the dryer's motor, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws at the top of the front panel, just behind the door. Now we're going to lift the top panel up just a bit so we can clear the console legs and pull it forward. We're going to remove the Phillips screws that are found at each back corner of the front panel. Once we've done that, we can lift the front panel up, rotate it to the side, and disconnect the door switch wires. Then we can set the front panel to the side. With that moved out of the way, we're going to reach under our drum, and we're going to disconnect the belt from the belt pulley. Once that is disconnected, we're going to go ahead and lift up on the belt and use it to assist in pulling the drum forward and out. Now we can set that to the side as well. We need to take out the Phillips screws from the front of the blower housing and the back of the motor mount. We also need to remove the screw from the outlet thermostat. Now that we have those three screws removed, we're going to push back on our motor and rotate it sideways. With the meter set to continuity, we're testing from the red wired terminal on the motor to the brown with a yellow stripe wired terminal. We need to use the hair dryer on the overload of the motor to see if the overload opens when heat is applied. If the circuit shows no continuity after a few seconds, then the motor has failed and would need to be replaced. To get this reassembled, we need to ensure that the idler pulley is secured properly onto the motor mount. Then slide it forward and ensure that the mounting is connected to the blower housing properly. Then you can screw the outlet thermostat back on. Now that we have it mounted in there, we're going to go ahead and secure it with those three screws that we originally removed. Now we can reattach the motor wiring. When that's all set, we're going to install the drum and belt. This can be a little difficult, so make sure to get the belt firmly on the motor pulley. Then grab the front panel. We're going to connect the door switch wires and then set the front panel onto the dryer. We need to secure it with the screws we removed earlier. Now we're going to slide the top panel on the console legs Rotate the top panel down and then secure it with the long Phillips screws we removed from behind the door. Don't forget to plug the dryer back in or flip the circuit breaker back on. If your motor is good, you can check out our other troubleshooting guides to find out what might be causing your dryer's auto cycle to stop too soon. We've got thousands of videos to help you diagnose your appliances and make repairs. If your motor is bad, you can order a replacement at appliancepartspros.com so you can repair it yourself. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. If you like this video, let us know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.